everyone. Thanks for coming out here today. We really do appreciate you. Thanks for your continuous support and thanks for always staying tuned to our channel. Yes, we are here to keep you updated with the latest and most reliable happenings in our country. The one we have before our decks is from Kogi State. Um, the Supreme Court has fixed judgment day for the governorship ticket in Kogi State. And um, we'll get more details um, in a moment. But before we do, guys, and um, please, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, click on the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up, hit on the like button. It really does mean a lot to us. Right, guys, let's get more details um, about um, what the Supreme Court has said about um, Kogi State. Wada versus Ibrahim. Supreme Court faces judgment day for Kogi PDP governorship ticket. Unless any last minute change, the Supreme Court will deliver judgment on Tuesday, June 16, to determine the authentic winner of the People's Democratic Party PDP governorship primaries for the November 16, 2019 governorship election in Kogi State. The first runner-up of the governorship primaries, Abubakar Ibrahim, had approached Lokoja High Court to challenge the outcome of the primary election and prayed to be declared the winner, having scored the highest number of all valid votes. In his argument, Abubakar Ibrahim alleged that the winner of the primary election, Musa Wada, brought 600 ballots to the private residence where the September 3, 2019 PDP governorship primary election in Kogi was collated. The PDP governorship primaries, which was conducted at the Lokoja Conference Stadium, was disrupted by gunmen at the commencement of the sorting of the ballots and was subsequently moved to private residence where the final collation was done. Musa Wada was eventually declared the winner of the governorship primary election and Abu Bakr Ibrahim approached Lokoja High Court to challenge the outcome. In its judgment, the Lokoja High Court faulted the entire process of PDP governorship primaries and declared it null and void on the ground that the PDP couldn't have produced the winner through the faulty process of the primary election adding that the party has no candidate for the November 16th governorship election in Kogi State. Both parties approached appeal courts to set aside the judgment of Lokoja High Court on the ground that the judgment falls short of their prayers, while Musa Mada argued that he was the authentic winner of the election Abu Bakr Ibrahim also prayed the appellant court to declare him the winner of the election. Counsel to Abu Bakr Ibrahim, Otaru Roland San, in his brief at the appellant's court, stated that the judgment of Lokoja High Court overran the runway because it granted prayers that were never pleaded by the petitioner while the court overlooked the missing 241 votes and 600 ballots allegedly taken in by the winner of the primary election. In his own argument, the counsel to Musa Wada, J.S. Okutepa San, said the Lokoja High Court failed to meet the expectations of the winner, reiterating that the September 3rd PDP governorship primaries was free, fair, credible, and won by Musa Wada. In its judgment, the panel of justice drawn from Edo, Kwara, and Beno states set aside the judgment of the Lokoja High Court and affirmed the victory of Musa Wada. Dissatisfied with the judgment of the appellant court, Abu Bakr Ibrahim approached Supreme Court to seek for justice, arguing that he is the authentic candidate of the party. The apex court will determine on Tuesday who was the authentic winner of the September 3rd PDP governorship election in Kogi State. If the Supreme Court affirmed the victory of Muda Wada, he will have no problem and continue with his ongoing legal battle at the appeal court with the winner of the governorship election, Governor Yaya Bello of APC. However, if the Supreme Court answers the prayer of Abu Bakr Ibrahim and declare him the winner of the primary election, he will inherit the 189,704 votes of Musa Wada during the governorship election and may carry on with the ongoing legal battle 
against Yahya Bello. What may be bad for PDP is for Supreme Court to uphold the judgment of the local Jahai Court that faulted the process of the primary election and held that PDP didn't have candidates for the November 16 governorship election. If this happens, the internal wiggling of PDP will cause them to lose Kogi states and Yahya Bello will be sure of retaining his position till 2023. So guys, we can see that um, in all of the states, <laughs> in all of the states, this rigging and this desperation is still there. You know, that's why it's always been stated that let uh, not what happened in Kogi State and Zamfara and even by Elsa, let it not repeat itself in uh, Edo State. We all know what's going on in Edo State uh, with regards to the governorship election that is just around the corner. They have their own primary slated for the 22nd of June, which is just um, barely seven days from today. And um, it's a battle. The two factions are divided. Right now, they've disqualified Obaseki. And Obaseki is seeking to um, go on to PDP. But I think that one of the things, um, um, the Oshomales camp, um, in Edo State, what they stated was that they don't want a repeat of what happened in Kogi State. Right now, Kogi State is still in court over... Uh, um, the the way the primary the way the election was conducted with, with fraud we can see uh, um rigging and manipulation is still not out of the the the, the total uh election process i keep telling us story that all they do they try their best to see that um, it's a free and fair election it's quite shocking and i don't know when nigerians nigeria will stop from this act it has to be do with all of these politicians all of these godfathers an election is going on in a in a in a in a in a location. What you hear is that um, unknown gunmen. These are not robbers. To be quite fair, robbers they are, they don't come to look for, but they they won't eat papers. Definitely, they are sent by one of the oppositions or one of the parties. We all know that very well. So they come. They they call them unknown because they come fully maxed and fully armed. And everyone running away from their for their lives, they give way. And these gunmen, they cut away with the ballot boxes. It's quite shocking. So uh, I think a lot has to be done, even with this forthcoming election in uh, in uh, those states, because we keep hearing of this. There is no time where an election is conducted where we don't hear cases of the ballot box being stolen. And once the ballot box has been stolen, you know, we all know the end of it. That is all about manipulation. So nobody can know the exact number of um, votes that are in that box. They go and manipulate it and, and, and just skyrocket the number and change figures and all of that. Right now in Kogi State, uh, a judgment is going to be passed. So the battle is between Wada and Abraham. They've taken the, the, the case to the Supreme Court and, and the Supreme Court has fixed the date of the judgment for tomorrow and they will decide who will be the the, the governor see something they, they and uh, an election that took place since 2019 november 2019 they are still dragging themselves to court because nobody wants to do the right thing nobody wants to stand for the truth all they are, i don't know they are power driven and you can see that in all of this they are not even thinking about the 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 indigenous they don't think about the people of the state it's not in their best interest it's how they can get in there how they can loot more money how they can do all they are doing right now what kogi is really scared about um you know yahya bello his case is still there under apc he's still battling with them but this very first case is between two pdp um aspirants they are the ones uh, um, battling for this um the primaries one is saying that I am the one that won it. The other one is saying I am the one. So they had to go to court. So right now, if at the end of the day, um, um, they, they don't scale through, it looks like um, Kogi State might be losing this um, to APC again. We don't really know what's going to happen and um, what the court will decide tomorrow. The Supreme Court would, hear, would wait to hear the judgment from the Supreme Court tomorrow. So guys, that's the latest um, news reaching us regarding the Wada and Ibrahim um, case. We'll get details tomorrow, um, 16th of June. Please leave your take, leave your comments down below in the comment section regarding uh, the way uh, this election, the way elections are, are conducted in our country. We really do appreciate you guys. Thank you once again to all of our subscribers. Please, if you haven't yet subscribed, click on the subscribe button down below and don't forget to give us a thumbs up, hit on the like button. Till I come your way again with more updates, it's bye for now and God bless.